Hey y'all, and welcome to Agri House Vlogs. It's Sunday, I'm walking into Tom Thumb, which has the Starbucks that I go to, and I'm getting myself a hot chocolate before church. We're at Costco. We're gonna pick up some things to meal prep for the week, and uh, yeah, that's what we're here to do today. In addition to our normal Costco stuff, looking for a step ladder here. Well, we got water so far, not located a step stool, which I'm kind of surprised, but um, we haven't gone through part of any of the store at all, so we have gotten samples. We had tamales with queso, and it was good. We had sausage, and it was good, and cherry pie. So, hitting up the samples, for sure, and uh, so there, that's my lunch. Oh my goodness, y'all. Yes, how cute are those? Coming home with me. If you can't tell, I'm not in Costco anymore. I'm actually at PetSmart because I wanted to get the other kind of cat fish, cat food. I have the ocean white fish, but I'm gonna get some salmon and ocean fish entree so they have a variety. They don't really like the chicken or they didn't like the chicken the last time I got that, so I'm probably not gonna get any of that. But maybe I'll try it just to see if they want a variety but anyway I think the two options are good and then I'm gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond which is just right across the way there and then see if they have the step stool that I'm needing because I can't put some stuff away until I get a step stool so I'm gonna look for that and then what else go to Dollar General and see if they have the, the medium size tubs that I was looking for just need a couple more of those and I think that's it. I think that is it for today. Anyway, that's enough because I have wing moms to post for and stuff like that. So let's get this party started. They're dollar nine eat. Ugh. I wish. Um, well, anyway, you're supposed to feed them kitten food until they're cats, which that's a year old. So whatever. Back at Bed Bath and Beyond because I'm buying this thing. Let me let me let me show you. Okay, here's the deal. So, I just got out of Bed Bath and & Beyond and there's a couple in front of me that were in line. And hold on. So, they were checking out. They had a bunch of stuff and uh, they looked like they had a coupon. And so I was like, oh hey, um, do you have a 20% off your entire purchase coupon? And they're like, no. We have a five dollar off and I'm like oh I said well if you become like if you buy this bed, bed bath and beyond beyond plus or whatever beyond plus or something it's called I'm not even sure if you buy that it's 30 bucks last you one year you get 20% off your entire purchase and free shipping if you order it online but you get 20% off your entire purchase so they spent 400 just say I think that's what they said so that would be 80 bucks this cost them 30 still making you're still clearing 50 bucks savings and compared to your five dollar coupon so I was like oh I so basically sold the thing for them and um, I didn't get any points for that I didn't get like a, a candy bar you know I didn't get free product nothing so you're welcome Bad Bath & Beyond but then another other side of things I'm like if I just save 50 bucks because somebody was kind and didn't have to tell me about a savings thing and they did, I don't know, they're just like, oh, cool. You know, I just saved you 50 bucks. You were only gonna save $5. I just saved you $45 more than you got. But anyway, be kind. That's what I do. Just trying to help people out. But I'm just saying, I would have been a lot more excited about saving that much money, if it was me personally. Okay, so now I have to make a stop at Dollar General and hopefully they have pepperoni because I wanna have, we bought cauliflower pizza, cheese pizza. Oh, I didn't even show you my Costco haul. We got cauliflower pizza, but we got the cheese kind because I don't like the veggie kind. Marvin always, he wants to buy it because he likes it, but I always pick up all the vegetables and I don't like it, I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna eat it. So we got the cheese one, but I gotta buy pepperoni because I wanna load it with pepperoni. 
And then we got uh, the dumplings that we always buy. We got the uh, uh, stir fry that we always buy. We got the uh, quiche, the crustless quiche that we always buy. They did not have apple slices. And what else did we buy? Oh, I bought those pumas, those gray white pumas. They were so cute. I was like really excited about that purchase. And it was only $25 plus I had like the $18 gift back reward money or whatever. So anyway, I got them for cheaper because I'm, I'm saying that that went towards my purchase, <laughs> even though it went towards the whole purchase, but whatever. And Marvin got a pair of jeans. Did I get a pair of jeans? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I was going to get a pair of jeans, but anyway, he got a pair of jeans and a shirt and then just the food stuff. So now, like I said, I'm going to Dollar General to get those plastic little things. I'm putting them in the bathrooms and in the kitchen under the sink to put the cleaning products in. So in case anything leaks or spills or whatever, hopefully it'll be contained inside that plastic bin and not get everywhere else. And then I'm going home and I'm hoping that Dollar General has pepperoni set off to stop anywhere else because I just want to go home, chill and get some stuff done. So, all right, let's go. Oh, I got that step stool. It's going to allow me to reach eight foot, but come on y'all. I'm only five foot, barely. I'm not even really five foot, but I always say I'm five foot. So like I'm barely five, I'm like four eleven and a half or something. So that's like, you can reach eight foot if you're like normal size, but I'm not normal size, but it's okay. I'm fun size. Ah. Making what I hope is the final stop before I go home. Hold on, the lens looks dirty. I'm here to try to find those plastic totes and hopefully some pepperoni. Cross your fingers for me. Look what I found in the, oh, that's upside down. Look what I found inside Dollar General. So, what, what? Okay, so now I can go home after I pay, of course. And that's what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, quick outro here. It is 11.38 and I'm ending the vlog. Had a pretty productive day, pretty productive weekend, actually. Got a lot of stuff done. Although, if you look at my kitchen, it doesn't really look like it. But we did get some things done, and we are making progress. And I'm trying to remind myself to be patient as we work through unpacking boxes and deciding where things go. And I know also that once I decide like, oh, this is going to go here, there's a good chance that I might decide that it's going to go actually there. So I'm not stressing about it too much. And furniture is ordered, so that was a huge thing. And it will definitely be here in time for our guests to arrive. And then we, um, I ordered an ottoman, a round ottoman for my office. It's pink. And the desk chair that's coming in for the office is kind of like that teal color, kind of a green blue teal color. And I'm going to have my dad make me that desk that looks like the Pottery Barn teen desk. So, and that's going to be white. And yeah, I have that old um, bookcase that my dad made me. It's white with gold. And... Um, I'm going to put that in the office as well, but it is, um, <sighs> oh, I was going to tell you, it's, it needs painting. So at first I was like, oh, I'm just not going to paint it. I'm just going to leave it, you know, authentic and like it was, but I kind of want to paint it too. So anyway, I'll think about that. I've got a lot of things to do tomorrow and this coming week as well as I prepare to go to San Antonio for a wing moms conference. But for tonight, I'm going to say goodnight, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.